Let's bring in meteorologist Leah Pizzetti now. And Leah, a whole lot going on in this region right now. Let's mm -hmm. start with the earthquake. So walk us through what we know. Yeah, Madison. So this is certainly a lot for this one area simultaneously. So this is in Southern California. The epicenter is in Ojai, 5.1 magnitude uh, with aftershocks as well. Uh, this could be felt through Los Angeles into the Central Coast, Central Valley as well. And the thing we have to keep in mind here is this is simultaneous with uh, the remnants of Hurricane Hillary, Tropical Storm Hillary right now. So very heavy rain right there. So I want to show you on a map exactly where this is. Ojai is right here. It's a little bit inland from the coast, so that's where that epicenter was. Zooming out just a little bit, and we can see Los Angeles is down here. So there's that epicenter up there. So actually pretty close uh, to LA, also close to the central coast, really close to Santa Barbara as well. Taking a wider look, and we'll bring in that satellite and radar. This is what they are feeling right now with that rain as well. So all day long have been getting that steady rain. It's only going to continue for the next couple of hours. Uh, so multiple inches of rain already, and we're keeping that counting. And you can see the track that Hillary is taking there. No longer a hurricane, currently a tropical storm, uh, but that is going to continue to sweep up through Nevada. Uh, and it actually does look to impact Western Washington. In fact, this is playing a role in why we're seeing these smoky skies. So as we take a look at the Pacific Northwest, we can see that rain there, the, the very end of that, and that's pushing air from the east to the west. So that is part of the reason we are seeing these extremely smoky skies right now. That goes hand in hand with this air quality alert that is in place for most of the state. This has been extended, so this now ends at noon tomorrow and we could still reach potentially some areas in that unhealthy range. Pair this with a fire weather warning that continues until 11 p.m. this evening. Yeah, we have a lot going on in the state right now. Here's a live look from our rooftop camera. You cannot see much out there because of how smoky it is right now. 78 degrees is where we're currently sitting in Seattle. Temperatures really suppressed because of that smoke today. We'll see 60s through our evening hours into about midnight and then in our overnight hours dropping down into the 50s tonight. Into tomorrow morning, we will see haze once again, but we're expecting a little bit more clearing into our evening hours. That's because we have changes on the way in the form of rain chances. Yeah, a lot going on in the next couple of days. So daytime highs for tomorrow going to be pretty close to what we felt today. Mostly 70s with a few low 80s. So here's Hillary right here. Now as we progress into the next couple of days, we watch that low drop down from the Pacific. That is going to bring us some rain chances as we head into Tuesday evening. It's spotty showers. It's nothing major into Wednesday afternoon as well. We see some lingering rain. So tomorrow we're talking hazy skies, mid 70s. We see those 70s hang on through the first half of the week, but then heat and sunny skies do return by next week.